Hey guys, welcome back to AppCode. In the last episode of the Spring Boot GraphQL 101 series, we cover the GraphQL error handling part. In this video, we are going to cover the GraphQL subscription. So let's get started. Okay guys, first of all, let's get the idea about what is a subscription, right? So basically a subscription is a connection between server and client where client can subscribe to some event or some method right so basically then server can push data to the front end via that subscription right so this technology is built on top on top of the web socket layers right so uh, as you are using a, a chat application built in socket or your signal are uh, same technology is used here uh, you have a WebSocket connection uh, from the client to server right so server can push data uh, to the front end and front end can easily uh, display the data accordingly right so I'm going to show you the working application right now so here I have a tool called GraphQL right so I'll show you how to integrate this with your application. You can easily embed this to your GraphQL Spring Boot application and you can do the development using this one, right? So this is pretty awesome because of you have all the docs here. You can uh, go to subscription and view subscription. Uh, it's uh, pulling the data from the GraphQL API and you can easily traverse through it and find out uh, what is already available in the uh, queries, uh, mutations and subscription and so on, right? So uh, I'm going to use the subscription here and show you the latest books of the uh, library, right? Library or the book management system. So that's the application we were building uh, throughout the series, right? So let's uh, get the list of latest list of the books i'm going to use subscription here right so uh, its name is books right i'm going to have its isbn and its title so uh, as you can see unlike in the postman here we get auto completion and um, all the available types and data right so uh, indicating this will improve your development um, experience also right and yeah so let's run it right so i got four books here so i'm now sh uh, going to show you uh, i'm going to add the new book using postman right so uh, you can easily use graphql also but i'm here going to use postman right so let's have it here likewise i'm going to create a new book okay it created and you got the updated the new book right so uh, we can have something else also okay so uh, let's look at how we can implement this one okay guys I'm in the application right now okay so uh, first I'm going to add the GraphQL integration to the application right as I remember, let's have the main use the main dependency to plug in and it's a GraphQL Java kickstart GraphQL. As I remember, uh, yes, this one right. A GraphQL is being able to start and we can copy it here and make sure to use the latest version, otherwise, you won't. Uh, get subscription work because earlier version it had the bug and the graphql interface right so uh, add this one and then you need to have a name and clean build right otherwise i got some errors a clean package and i'm going to skip tests right Okay guys, now the application has packaged, right? Let's run it. Okay guys, so now application has started. So let's go to the GraphQL, GraphQL interface, right? 
okay yeah we got the um, interface right so earlier it uh, actually all also keep in the history right uh, it somehow keep the history as i show you the demo right so uh, now we have the graphql interface integrated right so let's create the subscription to do, do that first we need to update this uh, graphqls file uh, we need to add new type called subscription right so i'm going to add type subscription right now uh, uh, the method i'm going to use books right so that's the subscription so it will return the latest list of books so basically we should have a list of books here right um, that's it from the graph PLS schema side now we need to have a new package to um, keep the subscription right so i'm going to add a new package called subscription right yeah uh, it's already exist right uh, let's create the class called book list subscription resolver right uh, so you get the idea why i added the resolver part because we need to implement graphql graphql subscription result right so this should be a component so at the component annotation so what we have here is the method of the subscription so it's books right so we need to return the publisher publisher from the reactive streams i'm not going to use a uh, other one which is uh, the flow concurrent flow right from the creative streams you need to have the publisher now this pub publisher will return list of books so list of books right so method name should match with this one uh, so it's basically books right okay so now this should return a new publisher of this type right i'm going to have an anonymous class here next we can replace it with the lambda so when we subscribe we have a subscriber of type list of books here so that's the subscriber now it, this subscriber has several methods on next on complete on error and so on right so what we need to do is return a set of values uh, to on next method so uh, if we have one call to the on next it will push the data to the front end through the subscription right so because this is a publish publisher have the uh, subscriber so we can push the data to the uh, subscribe part right so we have several method on complete on error and on subscribe subscribe right so i'm not going to use these other things uh, because in the on subscribe we can have all the new subscriptions uh, as a list or something like that and we can manage the subscription from there so i'm not going to manage the subscription uh, using this on subscribe method then uh, so on right so i'm just going to show you how to push the data to the front end okay so to return the list of books i'm going to use the uh, book repository right and we can have a constructor param and it should have the auto wired annotation there right so to return data we need to have a system to fetch and push right so 
I'm going to have a scheduled thread for this subscription and it will return set of books periodical right so to do that I'm going to use executors and new schedule thread pool. so I'll have a size of one pool and right I'm going to net next use the schedule fit at fixed rate method right so I'm here we need to pass a runnable and next we have the initial delay I'm going to use zero and period it will be two and I'm going to use the time unit as the second so this will run the this runnable this whole thing will run this runnable uh, in two second delay two second period right so now <coughs> Here we can fetch the all the book books, right? So this this is the books, and we can use the subscriber on next books, right? So that's it, guys, and we can actually complete it out. Uh, I'm not sure that uh, it will break or not the subscription so let's have a look with uh, this with land right so this is all the code we need to have in order to have the subscription so let's um, restart the application okay guys application has started now so let's have the look this subscription yeah it's working right so let's uh, create another book to make sure that this is working right in later video i'll show you how to use the subscription or manage how, how how to properly manage the subscription otherwise if you have multiple clients uh, using the same subscription it would you know have performance impact and resource outages and so on right yeah let's send the application Okay, I'm going to have something else here. Okay, we can't complete it, right? So that's the that's what I need to check it out, right? So let's remove this uncomplete method and run it. Okay guys, application has started, right? So let's give it a try again. Okay, now let's create another book called 57. Okay, we got the new book. So basically if you need to keep the connection and um, you need to push the data uh, later you don't you shouldn't call the on complete method right basically it will terminate the connection so i think you guys have learned something out of this tutorial so thanks for watching guys we'll see you in the next video bye bye happy coding